Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we'll talk about crop canopy. Okay, so we're out in these soybeans. It's early in the morning. There's a lot of dew on the beans, which is a good thing. We're happy to have dew when we're in a dry climate. But here's the problem. You know, we're trying not to get our pant legs all wet. So how do you get through here? Normally, that's a big issue because the beans have completely filled in the rows by now. We're in 30 inch rows on this particular field. But right now this year, these end rows, the canopy's open. We've got a six inch gap up the middle in some spots here. We're able to kind of weave through this field and really not get wet. Okay, so Darren's talking about this like we don't want to get wet. We want to get soaked. Crop canopy is awesome. Here's what crop canopy does for a farmer. Number one, it helps control weeds. When the crop shades out the ground, that ground doesn't get sunlight. When the ground doesn't get sunlight, that means new weeds that are popping up don't get sunlight either, then chances are they're going to die. So if we have a good thick crop canopy, then well, it chances are they aren't, gonna, they aren't gonna germinate at all. They aren't it's even gonna start growing too. because they don't think there's a possibility of good growth. Yep, the other thing is late in the season, we're always starved for moisture, especially in the western corn belt. Well, with a thick crop canopy and less sun reaching the ground, there's less sunlight to mean that water is going up in the air for us. We're gonna lose less water. If we have a tight crop canopy, it seems to trap moisture down in there. Well, That's also a good thing. I look at it just a little bit different. You talk about moisture preservation, but I like to get that canopy completely closed because I wanna catch all the sunlight energy that yep. we can. That's where we're getting our yield potential from. The faster we can catch all that sun, and if we can catch 100% of the sun that hits our field, most years, if you have a little bit of moisture, we're gonna have fantastic yields. So I know when our canopy fills in, it's a good thing for us. The other thing that I really like too, Brian, that goes along with crop canopy that's important for me, is when you're looking at a soybean plant, you wanna produce the most soybeans that you can. Well, how do you do that? With one stem that's tall? Well, there's only so many nodes on that stem, so many places where a branch comes out and pods are gonna hang off. But if I've got a bushy bean where I'm gonna have so many more not nodes out there and more potential pods, I like it for that reason too. So there's a lot of things about crop canopy that are big positives for crop production and for farmers. Okay, the negative side though is because we've trapped all that moisture, that means that we have a much better environment for diseases to get started. So we'll typically see diseases like white mold, for example, in great big crop in other words, soybeans that got big and had canopy real early in the season. If you want to have fewer diseases, have a little less crop canopy. Well, okay, let's talk about that because there's a couple of things going on there. One, you don't have much air movement, and that you'll very yep. quickly find out. If you walk out into a field, if you haven't been on a farm before or you haven't been in a field for a long time and you've kind of forgotten this, just walk out into a field of some soybeans that are waist high or bigger, it's really warm and humid underneath that canopy, which is a perfect environment for disease. Now, when you don't have that thick crop canopy, you let a little bit of sunlight get in. And you think about it just like in your house. If you've got a room that stays really dark all the time and is humid, like down in the basement, for example, that's a prime condition for mold and other fungus to develop. The same thing happens out in your crop. If you're not letting any sunlight or breeze get underneath that canopy, you've got a great environment for mold or disease. With crop canopy, you might make the argument that, well, we've got a better home for certain bugs I don't know if that's really true or not, but the point is if I go out there and I spray anything, whether it's a fungicide, an insecticide, or a herbicide, I can't get good spray coverage on the target that I'm after if I have a huge crop canopy there. So that's why we want to control all those things if we can just a little bit earlier in the season before we have that big crop canopy. Well, we're talking about pros and cons of crop canopy. Really, the biggest thing is we want to close that canopy. We want to choke any other weed competition out. We want to catch all the sunlight we can and preserve moisture. And nine times out of 10, that's going to lead to the most yield potential possible. So when we talk about crop canopy, it's in a positive light. We want to have good crop canopy. Yep. And another thing we want in our fields is good weed control, especially if we've got our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 